not the most exciting photo, but we've got to start somewhere, right? This is it. This is my local lone tree. I live in the countryside. I've got hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of acres of woodland, forest, fields surrounding me. And this is the only lone tree that I've found that's remotely half decent. This entire area, as beautiful as it is for, for hiking, for, for going for lovely walks, it's just not photogenic and I take a little backpack out with me and I always take a camera, always take a camera with me and nine times out of ten it doesn't even get out of the bag because it's just nothing that really excites me, that interests me, that I want to photograph. A lot of people go out into their local environment determined to do some landscape photography and um, that I think they force it. I'm not interested in forcing it. it. To me, that's like being stuck in a prison cell with a jigsaw puzzle and you put the pieces together just because you're bored and you've got nothing else to do. I don't want to do that. I want to go somewhere scenic where half the work's done for you. That's what landscape photography is to me. I want the Serengeti with herds of wildebeest majestically strolling by or canyons in the desert, snow-capped mountain peaks in the Rockies, or dramatic coastline in Cornwall. I don't want to try and photograph a pine forest in my backyard. This is the spot that I was at uh, before Christmas. As you can see, it's not very special today. I was hoping, because of all the snow we've had, to have the trunk and all the, you know, the boughs covered, covered with snow and look really graphic and, and contrasty. But we had a lot of wind today, so it's obviously blown it all away. But we're here. I've made all of this effort. This is typical of landscape photography vlogging, isn't it? You go to all of this trouble and the end result is a fairly mediocre at best photo and you dear viewers may be a little disappointed. While I'm here, I'm going to take the photograph anyway, so let's see what we can rustle up. The sun's set, it's getting dark now, so I guess we're going to test the noise reduction capability on this. I'm really liking that this camera's got proper dials on it, none of those P's and A's and all that nonsense. This has got a proper self timer dial on it rather than doing it in the menu. That means I can turn the camera off and switch it back on, and it hasn't gone back to default. And I've got to go into the menu again and turn on the damn self-timer. Okay, so through the wonders of YouTube and editing magic, I've already gone home, processed this photo, compared it to the one that I took before Christmas with my little Z50, by the way. So I've got a Z50 at this end of the, the model lineup and a Z9 at this end. And the bottom line from this exercise is it does not matter what gear you've got, what camera you've got, how fancy it is. At the end of the day, what matters with landscape photography is being in the right place at the right time. 
Thanks for watching.